Our viewer question today is about B12, and our viewer has asked, um, do you think that taking a B12 supplement is enough, or should we be doing anything else to make sure that our body is adequately absorbing the B12? Important question. Uh, you need vitamin B12 for your brain, your blood, for your spinal cord, for your health. Uh, don't neglect it. Uh, and as most of our vegan viewers already know, Vitamin B12 is made by microbes that live in the soil, and when we were living an earth-connected life uh, half a million years ago, uh, and we were drinking out of streams, we were ingesting B12 that way, when uh, uh, we would dig up roots and tubers and eat them, we would get B12 in the soil on the surface of those vegetables. Well, nobody's drinking out of streams, nobody's eating unwashed vegetables, so for that reason we need to uh, take uh, vitamin B12 as some type of supplement. But as the old adage says, you know, you, you, you are what you eat. No, you are what you absorb. And you really got to get that, those B12 molecules into your bloodstream. And most folks don't have a problem doing that. But um, the concern is those folks taking uh, the vitamin B12 as part of a multivitamin. And it's generally fine, and I don't want to put people off from doing that. But uh, an issue, especially if someone has had a concern about uh, vitamin B12, is that normally the vitamin B12, when our aging ancestors got it in the stream water or on the vegetables, uh, it would contact our saliva in our mouths. Uh, and in the saliva, there's a protein, the salivary intrinsic factor, uh, that binds onto the vitamin B12 and takes down into the intestine. Uh, the salivary intrinsic factor lets the B12 go. They, then the gastric intrinsic factor secreted in the stomach grabs onto the molecule of B12 and helps it get absorbed uh, downstream. Well, the problem, if this is a multivitamin capsule, uh, when you take that capsule, well, zip, you just bypass, you shoot right past the whole saliva interaction down into the stomach, and you hope that capsule dissolves in the stomach, because if it doesn't, it's going to go down the intestinal tract, uh, and uh, uh, there's a good chance that it won't combine with the gastric intrinsic factor uh, and get absorbed very well. And so for that reason, I'm a big fan of the type of the forms of B12 uh, that contact your oral lining, your oral mucosa. Uh, and there's basically four of those. There's the chewable B12 tablets that you actually chew up. Uh, there's those little sublingual micro dots that you put under your tongue. They dissolve and, uh, and most of it gets swallowed, uh, but some of it they think even gets absorbed directly through the cheek and tongue membranes. Uh, the third is a liquid drop. Uh, they work, and again, that certainly contacts the salivary mechanism. Uh, and for us, uh, those sprays that are people are using, they all work. Uh, and uh, I, I'm a big fan, especially if someone has uh, either had signs of B12 deficiency or on a test, their numbers were really low. Uh, I would make sure these folks are, uh, you can be certainly taking uh, a multivitamin that's got B12 in it, but those folks should also do a spray or a chewable or a uh, sublingual uh, form that will increase the absorption. Um, uh, note about the blood test. Uh, uh, the blood test is uh, checks both the level of B12 directly, and there's a uh, stunningly wide range of normals, which I don't think is a good thing, uh, as low as 200. Uh, nanograms per deciliter up to 900. 200, even though it's normal, is too low. People are getting symptomatic by that time. You want to level at least five, 600. Uh, I, I like to see it between 600 and 900. I, I'm more comfortable with those ranges. Uh, but you know, every time you're getting your B12 level checked, also have your doctor order a homocysteine uh, level. And homocysteine, uh, if it builds up too high, can damage your artery wall, setting up for heart attacks and things. Uh, and vitamin B12 brings homocysteine down. So both of those tests together, you want to see your, your vitamin B12 high and abundant. You want to see your homocysteine low. Uh, and so if there's any question, then get those tests done. And I would suggest at least one more time, six months or a year later, re repeat them to make sure that as this question is focused on, you're really absorbing the B12 you're taking. So 
if you were to get those blood tests done if, if, while you're just taking the, the multivitamin tablet and your B12 is abundant, your homocysteine is low, then it's working for you. That's all you need to do. But if that B12 is still lowish, even though you're taking that multivitamin B12, then it's time to add a chewable or a sublingual spray or a microdot uh, or a, uh, or a, uh, a, a liquid drop there uh, to uh, increase the absorption. So uh, don't neglect B12, but don't stress over it either. Get your level checked. And, uh, and if it's low, I uh, get to add one of these uh, forms that uh, contact the uh, wonderful mechanism in your mouth to increase your absorption like our caveman ancestors used to employ pretty much every day. So uh, hopefully that'll help and uh, happy B12 to everybody. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Andy Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.